All right, guys, so the day has arrived. Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. This, my friends, is the Blickman Engineering uh, Brew Easy Electric uh, Brew Easy, excuse me. This is the five gallon setup. Um, it is a 10 gallon kettle, a 7.5 gallon kettle, the boil coil, the uh, tower of power. I believe that box right there is the mobile stand, but I'm not 100% sure. I uh, just wanted to do a quick unboxing video for you guys, um, show you what's in all these, show you all these stainless steel beauty that is this system. Um, I'm gonna do more videos, I'm gonna do you know a setup of it, how it actually works, a couple brew days. I do have this system for six months, so I get to give it a really good uh, run through, and ultimately I will give you my final thoughts. Again, this is the Blickman Engineering Brew Easy Electric Brewing System. All right guys, so as promised, here's kind of the official unboxing, if you will, of the Blickman Brew Easy uh, Electric Brewing System. Again, this is the five gallon version. They do have a 10, they have a 20. I think they have up to 50 as well. Uh, this base one is gonna start at around $2,000 um, and it goes up from there. But again, this is basically turnkey. You get everything, this is ready to go. You get all the connection, all the hoses, and I'll show you that. So if you guys want a real kind of easy setup that is just straight out of the box, ready to go, this might be something worth looking into. Uh, as far as cost goes, you know, it sounds like a lot, but that's actually pretty, a uh, pretty fair value market. I mean, something, a system like this is gonna run you about that. Uh, so again, all in one, you know, it's something if you wanna look at, this is definitely an option. Uh, so let me show you again, this is basically turnkey right out of the box, what you're gonna get. Here are the main parts. On the left, you've got a seven and a half gallon kettle and that's basically gonna act as your mash tun. And you can see they have the uh, mash plate right there that goes inside of it and of course these uh, these particular pots were pre-punched. Um, you can save yourself some money and not get them pre-punched for the, the heating element is gonna go right in there, those two. So that was pre-punched by Blickman. But again, they do give you the resources to do that yourself, including a pattern, um, and I can show you where that is. Uh, the kettles do come with the three-part uh, ball valves that are awesome, love those things. All the temperature gauges are in, they're actually sitting inside the kettle, I didn't take them out yet, didn't install them. They have all the sight glasses, they have the brushes to clean the sight glasses. Uh, also included is one of their hot blockers um, for that. And that's about it for the kettles. Again, Blickman kettles, you know, they kind of sell themselves. They're fantastic. Uh, and this part is actually optional. The part that this 10 gallon kettle is sitting on is their, it's their, basically their breezy stand. Um, it has wheels on the bottom, as you can see down there. Basically for storage, you put it right up there. It wheels really nicely. Uh, it adjusts to the different size systems. So if you're gonna get a bigger system, uh, you don't have some place to put it, you know, it, it, this, that part is gonna cost extra. Uh, I'm not sure how much off the top of my head. I will have to look that up. And I, it's not available right now, but it will be available very, very soon. So if you guys do want something that's like that to store in, uh, it's gonna work great. And again, this kettle is gonna go on top of that one. I just didn't do it. But again, that is an option. And that's basically the only option outside of the entire system that you can get. So what is the Bruisey system? Well, it's basically this right here, uh, pull a part of it. Um, that silver piece on the part on the bottom is basically a ring that sits between, that sits on top of the 10 gallon and the 7.5 gallon sits on top of that. Uh, all the hoses, that piping you're seeing right there is what's gonna drain the 7.5 gallon into the 10 gallon. Um, as you can see, it includes a Bilkman auto sparge to control your sparge flow, that thing works great. Uh, there are all the pieces, all the quick connectors, everything you need is right there. Again, the instructions and everything. They've just thought of everything for this and it's all included. Um, and I'm not gonna take all this apart now. I just wanna show you guys what you do actually get. I will show you this all set up and kind of point out the pieces more in the next video. So what do we get next? Well, this I guess is kind of an option. If you don't wanna go electric, you can use gas. Um, I do electric brewing, um, and this is kind of what I wanted to highlight this system for because it's Blickman's first kind of foray into electric brewing. This is the boil coil, and that coil right there is gonna sit inside there. Uh, those two holes are connect to those two uh, connections right there at the end. This plug plugs into that, into the outside of the pot. And then it comes with all the uh, 
all the cables, all the extra cables, uh, you can get different plug ends depending on what socket you have. So that is all included there and that's the boil coil. And you can buy that separate, you can install that in any kettle really. Um, so that's not a Blickman coil only, Blickman pot only. So you definitely can get that. Um, check out their websites for you know, more dimensions and everything, what you need. And they do have coils for obviously every size of pot. Uh, the 7.5 gallon one, I believe is, uh, was it 110? Uh, this is a 220, but I think the 7.5, there might be a 110 for the 10 gallon as well. Um, I believe there actually is, but again, check the website for that and I can give you guys kind of an update on that as I learn more. So the brains of the operation and this again is kind of an optional piece, but if you do buy the whole kind of turnkey system, you are gonna get this. This is the power of power. Now this has been out for a while um, for their gas system. It's kind of their rims set up. Um, but this one obviously is designed to be used with the electric system. So there's the cord, the extension cord for that. That plugs into that. That plugs back into the wall. And then if you go around back here, you can see there's two plugs, one for the heating coil, one that goes into the wall. Um, and again, in that bag right there, that's your temperature probe. Uh, the Actually, I gotta say, this didn't come with instructions. Um, this is kind of a demo unit, so I'm thinking that's probably why. Uh, so I'm gonna look it up on the internet. But when you do buy this, this will come with instructions for the actual tower power. Um, I'm a little clueless how to use it, so I am going to have to look that up. Um, and next, and this is another kind of optional piece, but you do get it uh, with, the, with the turnkey system. This is the Tower LTE, which is basically a stand for everything. Uh, well, not everything. Uh, it's basically a small stand that holds the tower of power. It holds a pump, which is included, and it, inclu and it holds a... Um, uh, plate chiller, which is not included. That is something you'd have to buy. Um, and again, it includes all the quick connects, all the ball valves, everything you need for the pump in order to make this system work with this uh, tower LTE system. That right there uh, is for the pump. And it's going to be controlled, I believe, yeah, it's got to be controlled by the uh, tower of power somehow. But again, I'm not 100% sure on the operation this yet. I just opened this, just kind of got home from work and I wanted to do this real quick. Uh, but that's about it. I'm going to attempt, attempt, emphasis on attempt, uh, to set this up tomorrow, Friday, 4th of July, before I have to go to a picnic. I don't know that's going to happen, but hopefully this either Saturday or sun uh, Sunday, definitely, I will definitely get this set up. Uh, I'm going to do a quick run with some water just to kind of check out how it works before I throw some grains in there. But that is it, guys. The Blickman Brew Easy Brewing System. This is the electric version. Again, they do make a natural gas version as well as a propane. Uh, but this is going to be a video on the electric one, as you can see there. So until next time, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink and miss some gears. Cheers.